Have you ever guys wondered why sales is the highest paid profession in the world? Why people go on and make hundreds of thousands of dollars in the first few years? Because they're willing to do what most people won't. Because this is how the sales journey actually looks like for everybody. And if you're willing to go through all these lows, then guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna get paid because of that, right? And the reason why there's so many lows is because these are all learning experiences. And instead of you taking it as a discouragement, right? These guys with the top took that and made every negative into a positive, right? Because you need to have the right frame of mind. That's the number one thing you need to have, right? In today's video, guys, I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I've used and many of my successful friends in sales have used to get out of lows, okay? So that's one of the things you guys need to do. First of all, flip the switch on rejection. Flip the switch on no's and what that means. In sales, it's, it's inevitable. You're going to get no. You're going to get rejected, okay? And the difference between the people who are successful and the people who are not is the way that they take those no's, okay? So take every no as an experience for you to learn. Maybe you need to redefine your pitch. Maybe you need to redefine your approach, right? And I'll tell you another thing that helped me out tremendously is reviewing your own sales calls. Do apologize to the failed attempt of this phone. However, this is one of the most important things, most valuable things. This is fucking gold, guys. To go back and to listen to your calls whenever you guys were at your highs, right? And just tap into that. See how your energy was. How was your enthusiasm? Where did you pause? Where did you make a joke? See how your confidence was, right? And with that, that's the easiest thing you can do. Just tap into that and you should be able to bounce back right away. So record your calls, super, super damn important. The third thing that you need to do, I, I struggled this. I struggled with this for a very long time. When I got into my lows, my lows could have lasted for, for weeks and it's because I tried to do the same thing on the phone. I got too cocky, I'm like, I don't want help. I'm just gonna do this again and again. But there's a strategies that you need to use that will help you get your, out from your lows. And one of them is set smaller goals. If you're on a high streak making, you know, 10K, 20K every single month and suddenly you're like doing half of that or less, then this is what you need to do, okay? Set smaller goals so that you can build back that confidence, all right? Something like even simple as having a good conversation. Don't focus on the sale anymore. Just focus on having a good conversation, finding out the pains, the goals, uh, really connecting on a deep level, just having better conversations. The second thing is doing X amount of calls, X amount of dials. Like today, I'm going to have 10 conversations with 10 people and no aliens. But anyways, have like X amount of dials. And another thing you do is even smaller. This is one of my, one of my good friends, Aman, told me this, is that wake up at a certain time, you know, it's like today I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. no matter what. And that's a small win. That's going get, to get you back in the groove of things, right? Small wins. Guys in the back, do you guys have any other advice from your experiences? I'm talking to gentlemen behind the camera that have made multiple six figures in sales every single year. So you guys, I've seen you in your lows, guys. Come on, speak up. Uh, reading books, fill your mind with information. You can't pour into other people with an empty cup. Read books, find new information. You can't, yeah, you can't pour into others with, with an empty cup on sales calls if you got nothing in you. So the best thing you can do, I like that. Just go read a book, even a sales book or any book, a self-development book that's going to, you know, give you value and so that you can give that value on, on the sales calls. So you can transfer some information and that's going to make you seem like more of an expert in your field, give you a little bit more confidence. Any, anything else, guys? Make thy bed. Make thy bed. Mmm. That's, that's a good one. Thank you, James. Uh, James is even not in, not, not in sales. He's, uh, he's in cybersecurity. Yeah, another thing, yes, make your bed in the morning. That's a small win. That's a small win, right? All right, four, seek mentorship. So sales is like a sport. There's only so much that you can do and self-learn, do things by yourself. You need somebody who's going to look at you uh, from an outsider's perspective um, and look at the small things that you don't notice, right? Similarly, like in the gym, you know, sometimes you can't even notice your, your form, if you're lifting properly or not. You need a coach to, to remind you to breathe, tuck in your, your, your butt whenever you're doing squats, you know, small things like that that can change the whole trajectory of how you close deals, right? So seek mentorship, you know, the, the space is full of, there's a lot of good coaches out there. Don't be afraid to invest into yourself. Because remember guys, you're in sales. What, what are you doing in sales? You are trying to have people 
invest in themselves, right? If you're not willing to invest in yourself, then how do you expect people to invest into your program, right? So invest in yourself. Number five, this is my personal favorite meditation. I believe that this has literally changed the whole trajectory uh, of my life. And whenever I get into my lows, what I like to do is sit down on a piece, pen and piece of paper. I like to visualize. Visualize exactly what I want in my life. You know, I want to make 20K a month. I want to work with cool people. Um, I want to be able to work five hours a day. Like, you know, I want to be able to close X amount of people and write everything down. And another thing I do is on the other side is write down, how would you feel? How would you feel if you were able to make 20 grand a month? How would you feel if you did surround yourself by, with, with cool people? You'd feel joy. You would feel fulfilled. You would feel happy. You'd feel at peace, right? So write, these down, write it down. And then go to a quiet place, okay? Go to a quiet place and for 10 minutes, for 10 minutes this is what I want you to do. Close your eyes. And for the first five, you're just going to sit down, quiet spot, cross your legs, or lie down. And I want you to just calm your body, calm your mind from top to bottom. You know, from like relaxing your eyelids, relax your jaw, drop the, the tongue from the roof of your mouth, all the way down to relaxing your toes. And the reason why that's so important, guys, is because if your whole body is relaxed, it is impossible for you to feel stressed if every muscle is relaxed once you're there for another five minutes i want you to go back and visualize exactly what you want visualize yourself literally like having a great conversation connecting with somebody visualize yourself taking them through the checkout collecting the payment visualize yourself uh, you know that that confident self the confident salesperson that you're trying to be and just do, that for, for, just do that for five minutes. And the reason why this is so important because now you're priming your brain and body for this to be normal. Once you step out of this meditation and into the real world, now you're rem remembering exactly what you want and how, how you should feel all the time. Because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to feel at peace whenever I make money. I'm going to feel happy whenever I close the deal. I'm going to feel fulfilled whenever I, whenever I make X amount of money. Or start this business but really people have it backwards you need to feel gratitude first you need to feel abundance first peace first happiness first and then it will come and that's why this is so damn important for you to kind of you know reframe your mind and start stepping into that person that you're trying to be and you know this this all obviously relates to the law of attraction and before you know it like life is going to give you like little breadcrumbs and you're going to be like oh shit this just happened today out of nowhere Oh, this just happened. Oh, just close this deal. Oh, things are going well. Why? Because you're priming your brain and body. And that's it, folks, for this video. I hope you guys got some value. Um, you know, it's, it's so important just to embrace the journey. Whatever journey you're on, embrace it with its ups and downs. Success leaves clues and failure leaves clues as well. So always keep that in mind. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.